I want to draw the ball. Yep. What are the easiest things we could do in terms of my setup, my swing, yep. to get me curving the ball right to left as soon as possible? Let's get yeah, it. I would say the start, there'd be two main things to do. Build it out in the setup and then do your follow through right. In terms of coming through the ball then, right? So I, I get the setup pieces good. I keep those alignments. My left wrist flat. I'm not adding hinge. The face is tilted down a little. Yep. As I'm coming through the hit, would you typically see players mess this up by? Yeah, let's face the cam. Let's do it this way. Typically what would happen as they're coming through, just start coming through, this wrist would cup. Maybe they bend their arms. But as that's happening, the logo, the, the logo of the glove faces up to the sky and the face would face more up to the sky. Yeah, okay. So you, we might say, you gotta do your setup. We might say as you come through the ball, start coming through, do it right, that you're pointing it down. The logo is pointing down. The face is pointing down. So the hands are still ahead, Yeah. but we're pointing the wrist and the face down more. That This is an exaggerated right. feel for someone who's really struggling drawing. All right, guys, so a couple days left with our end of summer promotion. Our prices are going up this Sunday, August 21st at midnight. You have between now and then to sign up to lock in our current lowest prices, but we're going to make it even better and easier for you. You get to try your first lesson absolutely free, and we're giving you four special bonuses. Our putting masterclass and practice plan, chipping masterclass and practice plan, wedge and short iron masterclass, and my favorite, the full swing range practice plan. Literally, all of the years I've been coaching, all of the things I have to help you get better funneled into those four things. You get them absolutely for free, and you get to try the coaching, see if you like it. Uh, but we wanna make it risk-free, you have nothing to lose, and if you decide you enjoy it, we wanna work together, you get to lock in that lowest price, but you have to sign up before this Sunday at midnight. We're gonna put a link on the screen. We'll also put a link in the description down below. I hope you'll take advantage and look forward to working with you. Okay, Steve, so obviously a lot of golfers who come in would love to be able to look up after they hit and see a nice little draw pattern, yep. right? The majority of people. So let's say we're, we were building my swing from scratch yep. or someone's like, hey, I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna draw the ball. Yep. What are the easiest things we could do in terms of my setup, my swing yep. to get me curving the ball right to left as soon as possible. Let's get yeah, I would say the start, there'd be two main things to do. Build it out in the setup and then do your follow through right. Set up and follow. -through. And the reason I say that is you could have, you could have it built out real nice in the setup. Yep. You could have it real nice at the top, but then as you're coming down and through the hit, the alignments could really break through the ball. Okay. So typically if you get your setup good and your follow through good, then you know the other parts were falling into place because you did your finish and your follow through right. That's why that part's so important. Love it. So, yeah, Let's do the setup. so yeah, so to start, I would say if, if we're really talking about curving this thing right to left and we never want it to ever slice, I would start by moving the ball further back. The okay. more back we would play the ball, the more the, the swing's direction and the angle attack would be more down to get it to go, the, get the total club path to go more to the right. So I'd say ball back would be one. So if I, if I took my, I'm gonna just like- Yeah, 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 sure. Okay. sure, sure, sure. So let's say if I took a normal setup, I've got an eight iron. Yep. And I was just hitting my stock shot. Yep. And it's somewhere like- Let's say three, three balls behind your left shoulder. Three balls behind my left shoulder. It's like yep. left ear- Yeah, that, that's fair. Okay. So we're moving it back maybe another ball. ball. Yeah, four, maybe four and a half balls back behind the left shoulder. You, we could even go five balls if we really wanted to make this thing curve from right to left. Maybe more like? Sternum if you wanted to, okay. yep. So sternum, m m ball a little bit back of the setup, okay? Yep. And, and so, if you, can you do that visual one more time, Steve? If I move the ball back and yep. you held the club over? Yeah, so here's be our target line. As the ball is going back, that's presetting the swing's direction to go more to the right. Okay. Got it, okay. All right, then the second thing I would say is moving the handle position more forward and upward. And the up part, as we're doing the up part, that's adding more ulnar deviation to our left wrist, which is also starting to close the face a little bit. So let's say my normal, yep. the handle's inside left thigh, yep. and maybe the butt of the club is, well, let's start with that. I'll say it's inside left thigh. Mm -hmm. So I'm going more, maybe even with my leg. Yep. And then in terms of the verticality of it, I'm raising it up, thumbs down, like above my belt line, yes. more stomach. Feeling like Bryson DeChambeau setup. Yeah, okay. 
He draws right. the ball. He, he draws okay. and that thing's locked in there, right? So and, and once back. again, we're really talking about curving this thing to the left. Like I want to imagine I'm, I'm, I'm like life on the line, next ball's got to curve left. That's what we're doing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> ball a little back, yep. hands forward and up. Yep. So like right now as I do this, if someone's trying to implement this, I have the sensation definitely like my wrists are uncocked more. Yes. Thumbs and more you can down. feel like that your wrist might even feel like it's a little bit bowed a little bit as yeah. you do that. So it's um I'm not like down here with a lot of angle. Yep. That angle is all the way gone. So let's let's both do it together at the camera, right? So when we're when we have our let's say we have a turned grip, right? Yeah. See there's a cup in our wrist. If we uncock the club and raise it up, the face closes. Yes. Yeah, that's a good visual. So we have the, right, typically you have the, the handles down, there's a cup in the wrist if you have a turned grip. If okay. you uncock the club, see the face is closing. Yeah, okay. That's why we add the ulnar in there, because that's already presetting the face being closed to the path, and maybe even close to the target, because we're talking about hitting curve like a left. curve it to the left. So if someone had a normal grip, yep. let's say in the, let's say um, the V between the thumb and index fingers are like their collarbone. Yeah. That presets a little bit of an angle. Cup, yeah, so what you're saying cup. is, hey, if I took that out and yeah, just uncock the club, raise the club up, that would start closing the face. And that's def let's say that defined by the toe in front of the heel. Yes. Okay, perfect. So I'm sold. Hands yep. up and forward. Yep. Balls about a ball back. Yep. Um, any other setup pieces? Yes. Yeah. I'd close your shoulders more. I'd move the right shoulder back more, so okay. the left arm's more above the right arm. To really, once again, we're really doing this. So I'm like pulling my right shoulder back. Yeah, it feels like someone's like pushing on you. Okay. Would you do like, so my foot and you hip? You could maybe close too? your hips if you wanted to, too. Okay. I was just, I was just getting there. Yeah, okay. Go All ahead. Right, now, <laughs> now we have the draw built in. Yep. So right from here, we can see how your forearm, see how your forearm is ahead of the shaft and there's like a pie right here? Yep. Can I take this? Sure. Lift your club up. So, right, put it down. So now we have this little pie. Okay. Now all we would do is we would just maintain it to the follow through. Right? Lift the club up. Just swing through the ball. And if we maintain that to the follow through, yeah, yeah. We maintain that into the follow through right here. There's the alignment. Forearms have the shaft. There's our pie, just like the setup. Okay. So if we can get the setup right and we maintain that alignment into the follow through, yeah, okay. the draw is still built in there. Now, let's say I'm going back to my setup and we're yep. doing the shoulder alignment. Yeah. Because I think a lot of people we see don't get that part enough. Can you do the club in between my sure. forearms just to give a visual? So, so um, I, I would come in here and I'd crank you. I would twist. Yeah. I'd twist you so I'm pushing the shoulder back more. Right. And also the hips are closing a little bit as you do that. And I think of the piece of all of these when I would teach someone, that's the piece that typically they're not doing enough. Yep. The, the, getting the shoulder back. And I think, man, if you could have someone put a club in between your and arms twist like that. You. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Sometimes you'll do that, though, too. You'll do that. And as you do that, they move the club. Oh, you know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, like, yeah. Like, right, you'll yeah. come in there and they'll twist and the club right, moves. Yeah, right. Okay. So keep the club. Let me just review these in my head. So ball back. Ball back, hands up and forward. Yep. Close the shoulders. And the hips. And the hips. And then that, that alignment that we have established where the left forearm is ahead of the shaft. I'm trying to keep that. And the that. wrist is stable. Just keep that there. And just, just hit this thing 100 Marshall. yards. Just okay. pop it out there. Right? There's your curve. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's probably 10-yard draw. Yep. 10-yard draw to the left. And, and I want to make the point here on that. When you're doing that, you're not rolling your wrists yeah, right. to do that. Yeah. So once again, if, we, if I stood over there and, you, and we held the... Um, if the, the handle hit me or the clubs to the wall, when you come through yep. and you're doing this, there's, if you can see from the camera, his glove is still above, his left hand glove is above his right hand. There's no roll of the wrists. So yeah, so from this, this side, camera, right. right? So if I'm on the wall again, yep. right, there it is. The hands are ahead of the club, just like it was at the setup. There's no rolling I don't need to go like wrists. this no, to curve it. No, you don't right. do that. Yeah. So let me do a couple of these here, Steve. Yep. So. Ball slightly back, hands up and forward, yep. and really going to feel like the handle's high. Like this is, you're going to feel like a bowing or a flattening of your left wrist at the at the setup to to do this to the max. And if someone's doing this, if I looked at my like wrist and arm as one line, yeah, am I almost I'm almost even to the point where that's my wrists are under that. Yeah, once again, like I'm down. Bry Bryson DeChambeau setup. Yeah, okay. So maybe we'll put a picture of Bryson DeChambeau on here so we can see his yep. visual. So hands are high, thumbs down, ball back. Yep. 
close the shoulders, pull the shoulder back, the hip back. Yep. And then I'm maintaining those alignments. So I'm not feeling during my take like I'm gonna go like this. No, you're, it feel, right now we're just chipping, it feels very firm. Keep keep, keep what I have. It's okay if the club goes a little bit under and in. That's fine. And Remember, if, we're, we're, this thing's, we're swinging to the right on this. Okay. And as I'm doing this here, Steve, the general idea is like, the, the face stays tilted down, you're, toasting the, in front of the heel. The, feel, the feels that you have built in at the setup, you're yeah. carrying through into the back, swinging the follow through. You're just kind of locking those in there. Okay. Right, big draw right there. Yep. And so, I think a lot of players would be ecstatic to have that as their stock ball flight. Yep. But those same players are, are likely not willing to exaggerate those last pieces enough. And so I wanna reiterate this point. Everything we just mentioned there will work to curve the ball to the left. Oh yeah. It's just a matter of you doing them correctly and doing enough of them. Now there's a little bit of a caveat that like your grip's gotta be on there reasonably, mm -hmm. okay, for the face to pass. So let's just assume that you, you know, your lead hand grip, the V between the thumb and index finger, somewhere over by the trail collarbone, just to keep this simple. If the grip's on there correct and you do those pieces, the ball has no choice but to draw left. Well, as long as you do, and you, do you have to do the follow through right? Because you, yeah, right. you could have broken the follow through down and it could have went way out to the right. So let, let, let's go through these two pieces one more time. So I'll, go through, I'll do all my setup pieces. And I, and I just want to do the, t I, I, I get what you're saying here in terms of keep that the same, but if someone's looking like, what does that mean? When I'm going back here, you can see how my club face is still tilted down. And your wrist is like flat. My wrist is flat. So especially if you're struggling to curve the ball to the left, what you don't want to have happen is too much cup, right? Too much extension of the wrist, and that's going to open the face to power. So don't be super worried about like, hey, but my takeaway is a little bit inside. That's, that's okay. Fine. Keep the wrist flat. The face will be tilted down. It'll feel like the face stays at the golf ball. Right. Right. What or, makes or the ball to curve to the left yeah. is the face being close to the path. Right. So if the club face is a little bit more tilted down, that would be fine. Ball back, hands up and forward, close the shoulders. And the hips. And the hips. I gotta start saying that. And then just lock that alignment. Lock that in. in. So face gonna feel tilted down Punchy to me a feel. little. Yep. That was the best one. And so that ball, that's probably a 25, 30 yard draw. Oh yeah, I mean, that's what it should have did. Yeah, exactly. So in terms of coming through the ball then, right? So I, I get the setup pieces good. I keep those alignments. My left wrist flat. I'm not adding hinge. The face is tilted down a little. Yep. As I'm coming through the hit, would you typically see players mess this up by? Yeah, let's face the cam. Let's do it this way. Typically what would happen as they're coming through, just start coming through, this wrist would cup maybe they bend their arms but as that's happening the logo the, the logo of the glove faces up to the sky and the face would face more up to the sky yeah okay so you we might say you gotta do your setup we might say as you come through the ball start coming through do it right that you're pointing it down the logo is pointing down the face is pointing down so the hands are still ahead yeah but we're pointing the wrist and the face down more that this is an exaggerated right. feel for someone who's really struggling drawing. There's never any rolling. And this same feel that I have here in my follow through, you could do the same thing, right? It doesn't really matter that much. It's like, I could take that same feel, yep. and I could even exaggerate that mm -hmm. early here, mm -hmm. and I could exaggerate that through the hit, yeah. but I'm not having the club head pass the hands, pass the no hands. roll. I think that's where most people that we'll see will mess it up. They'll get it built really good at the setup, yep. and then through the hit, we'll see through the hit where they start bending their wrist, flexing their arms, they lose the precision and the structure of the follow through. So as soon as I come through, if I start bending my arms, I start cupping my wrist too much. You're opening the face to the path. Opening the face to the path, and I'm moving my path more, more left. left. So that, so open face, path left, not, not draw. No, it's a bunker shot. <laughs> right. If we wanted to hit more draw, we would close the face to path, mm -hmm. have the path be more to the right. So yep. I'll just do one more. Ball slightly back, hands up and forward. In the beginning, someone's doing this, you know, you sort of imagine you're hitting like a punch shot almost out of the trees down the fairway, yes. like a 20, 30 yes. yard kind of hook. Yeah. And if you're hitting slices, that should be lovely. Hands up and yep. forward, ball back, close my shoulders and hips. There you go. And hips. I'm going to maintain that alignment. For me, it feels like my left wrist is flat, not hinged, face is down. In the follow through, it feels like the uh, club head stays to the right of my hands yep. and I'm, I'm doing a little bit of logo yeah, down. Like I'll see if I can motorcycle curve Motorcycle feel, like the motorcycle Yeah, a little, little bit more of this. So I'm gonna go for kind of like a 30 yard. Yeah, yeah, yep. Okay, hands up and forward, ball back, shoulders, hips, keep it down, twist it in. 
Yep, that'll work. Perfect. So for me, when I hit, my normal shot, let's say, is like a five yard draw. So I think about it like every, if I turn that volume up a little bit, yeah. right, every degree I turn the volume up, I'm gonna go from maybe a five yard to a 10 to a 15, 20. So if you have a 30 yard slice right now, you gotta crank the dial on oh, all of Oh, you're gonna those. feel, it's gonna feel ridiculous. Yeah. Twi and the twisting of the shoulders is probably gonna feel the most crazy at the setup. And you have to do them to that degree, dial it all the way up just to get to zero. Yeah. So to go from 30 yard slice to straight, you're gonna need to feel the same thing I did to hit a 30 yard hook, right. to, just to get the straight. So you gotta dial those up. So draw pieces again, those will work. Confirm your grip is correct. And then from there, it's mainly an exaggeration piece. So if you wanna draw the next ball, you put those pieces in. Yeah. Steve, thanks man, you got appreciate it. you.